I'm not here as a celebrity, I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother, Beyonce said at a Houston rally for Kamala Harris presidential campaign Friday night. Imagine our daughters growing up seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations, she continued. We must vote, and we need you. At the end, Beyonce who was joined on stage by her Destiny's Child bandmate Kelly Rowland introduced Harris as she walked on stage. Beyonce did not perform unlike in 2016, when she performed at a presidential campaign rally for Hillary Clinton in Cleveland. Houston is Beyonce's hometown, and Harris' presidential campaign has taken on Beyonce's 2016 track Freedom, a cut from her landmark 2016 album Lemonade, as its anthem. With the packed arena crowd remaining noisy as she spoke, disturbances broke out, leaving Harris trying to keep command of her event. You know what, the beauty of our campaign is we're fighting for democracy, Harris said, following one of the protesters, who was shouted down by her crowd. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A world where we're not divided. Our past, our present, our future merge to meet us here. Imagine our daughters growing up, seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations. Imagine our grandmothers. Imagine what they feel right now. Those who have lived to see this historic day. elected officials and community leaders, I thank you all. I thank you. See you later. See you later. get distracted because you all know Texas is home to one of the most restrictive abortion bans in our country in Texas abortion is banned from the moment of conception you know what you know what? just send them to that small rally down the street but that's okay. We'll show them the way. We'll show them the way. Because we know what's at stake and we will not be silenced. We know what's happening here in Texas. Doctors and nurses could go to prison for life simply for providing reproductive care. Think about that life in prison for health care providers for doing what they think is in their patients' best interest. You know what? The beauty of our campaign is we're fighting for democracy. Bruce Springsteen and Barack Obama lent their star power to Kamala Harris's quest for the presidency on Thursday, as the vice president implored Georgia voters to consider the brutally serious consequences if Donald Trump wins a second term in the White House. Harris echoed that message in her speech, 
attacking Trump by comparing him to the predators, fraudsters and repeat offenders she prosecuted early in her career and arguing she is focused on Americans while her Republican opponent is focused on himself. I took them on and I won, Harris said. Well, Georgia, in 12 days, it's Donald Trump's turn. It's his turn. It's either Donald Trump in there stewing over his enemies list, or me working for you, checking off my to-do list, she added, speaking of the work either would do in the Oval Office. You have the power to make that decision. Someone who says we should terminate the Constitution of the United States of America should never again stand behind the seal of the President of the United States of America, Harris said. Never again. Thursday's event is the first in the campaigns, When We Vote We Win, concert series that aims to encourage Harris supporters to vote before Election Day. It was over. It was 17 years ago. It was over 17 years ago when I took a trip to Springfield, Illinois. It was a cold February day. And I went there to support this brilliant young senator who was running for president of the United States. And millions of Americans were energized and inspired, not only by Barack Obama's message, but by how he leads, seeking to unite rather than separate us. And that is why in 2007, 2007, I went New Year's Eve to Iowa to knock on doors in the snow. And all these years later, Barack Obama, I say to you, your friendship and your faith in me and in our campaign means the world. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. So Atlanta, before I was Vice President of the United States, before I was a United States Senator, and before that a two-term Attorney General for the state of California, and before that a district attorney and a courtroom prosecutor, and in those roles I took on perpetrators of all kinds, predators, fraudsters, and repeat offenders. I took them on and I won. Well, Georgia, in 12 days, it's Donald Trump's turn. And he who has called for the quote, termination of the Constitution of the United States. Let us be very clear. Someone who suggests we should terminate the Constitution of the United States of America should never again stand behind the seal of the President of the United States of America. Never again. Never again. There is a huge contrast in this election. Just imagine, just imagine the Oval Office in three months. Picture it in your mind. It is either, so, but there's a choice that everybody has. So let's imagine it for a moment. It's either Donald Trump in there, stewing, stewing over his enemies list, or me, working for you, checking off my to-do list. You have the power to make that decision. It is your